happy new year so it is january 1st um and i wanted to sit down and chat about 2023 as a small business i only started in august so there's not a lot to talk about but it's been going well so far and then my 2024 business plans um and see where i can grow and what i can do to improve so i have my etsy up here etsy is the only place that i sell currently um I just wanted to use their SEO um, and sort of get started with that. Um, so as I said, I started in August. So we're going to have a look through basically my orders from August to December and how well I've done. So I believe I started sort of mid August ish. I can see that I had 102 visits in my first month and two orders, which actually pretty good for a first month as a small business I think I only had one listing up or oh no I had two listings up my custom pet charms and then I used to make a lot of these tiny bunny charms which were Miffy inspired charms which I do want to make more of um, and put those up but the two orders were for the tiny bunny charms then in September it ramped up a little bit I had 10 orders which was crazy um 299 visits those were again two bunny charms and then eight orders of the personalized pets you'll find most of my orders are the personalized pets only in december did i actually um like load a bunch of products onto my shop because i did a christmas market um and then everything that didn't sell from there i put into the shop October was a little bit less. We had five orders and 300 visits. Um, so that's completely fine. Four of those were the pet charms again. And one of them was my tiny bunny charms because I had nothing else on my store at this point. Then in the run up to Christmas was November. Um, I had a fair few more orders this month. Um, this was 14 orders with 360 visits, which was crazy there was I think there was like a week where I had six orders in one week and I was rushing to get all those made in time um it was really fun and crazy uh I really enjoyed that so that was a 16 of those were the pet charms one of them was a little keycap that I had made and one of them was a sort of custom order um so I did a reserved custom order for that then finally, December was a crazy one. Um, I did link my Square account to my Etsy um, so I could keep all the listings updated. So the sales are slightly inflated here because of the Christmas market. Um, so we had 33 orders um, and 607 visits, but 21 of those orders were from the Christmas market. So they were actual Etsy orders. Um, which leaves us with maths 12 orders during December, which is still great. Um, and they were a bit more varied because I had done my shop update. The Etsy orders, there were eight custom pet charms. There was one tiny bunny charm. Um, oh, sorry, three tiny bunny charms. There was one capybara earring set, which I have packaged today because it got ordered yesterday. Um, one paintbrush rest, one um, Karomi phone strap, some other stuff that's not showing on here. Um, there were some rat earrings as well and a couple of the penguin earrings got sold. So that was my 2023 in terms of orders. Like I was really really lucky that I had just started my store and I was getting so many orders. Um, it's been really really great and I want to continue that. And it really taught me like about packaging, how to take photographs. My photographs are not that good still, but it really helped me in sort of setting up my business. I had someone, um, a good friend of mine, make all my branding for me, which is insane. Now let's get into 2024 small business goals. And these are gonna range from really easy goals to more difficult goals. I think you should definitely have a wide range of goals, especially if you're starting out a business. 
because some things will be out of your control um, and unachievable and other things will be completely achievable. So I'll just start with a couple of things that I want to do. So my biggest goal, and I guess this is kind of low compared to what I've just been showing you in terms of orders, but I think there was a big inflation with the Christmas rush. So my one of my goals is to average about three orders a week on my Etsy store. Um, we'll see if that happens. That would be really, really nice. Um, another thing that I want to try and do is be more on trends. So a lot of my stock was the custom stuff and then Christmas. Um, I want to be like ahead of the time on trends a bit more. I uploaded my Christmas stuff like the first week into December, which is just an awful time to do it. On Etsy, you have to give the SEO a bit of time to sort of get to grips with your listing. So for example, I want to do Mother's Day, Valentine's Day, Easter and things like that. Valentine's Day, we're already in January, so I need to hurry up on that. I'm already behind, which is great for my goals, but that's fine. I have a couple of ideas for that, so I'm hoping to get those out quite quickly. So I want to do more trend-based launches, and then I want to have five to ten listings or products um, that are like all, way, all seasons and all year round. And I want those to be split between things that are always in stock or possibly print on demand and the custom stuff that I make as well. In terms of print on demand, I do want more passive income. Um, everything I do is made with the clay. It takes a long time. Um, so I want things that people can sort of order a bit quicker. I want to do tote bags and things like that. Uh, I actually have two up currently, but I want to do more designs with that. And I want to do them in-house handmade by me but i don't have the resources for that at the moment so i'm going to do print on demand for now and then if people like them enough and they generate enough income then i could buy a heat press and a sublimation printer and things like that and bring it all in-house to make it a bit more personal so that is one of my big goals more passive income stickers things like that Better photography is a big thing for me. Um, I don't think my photography is very good on my products, so I want to improve that. I want to expand my product range. They're currently just keychains, earrings, and I've added some bracelets. I want to add in necklaces. Um, I watched the 2024 like Etsy predictions thing, and they said that sort of gold pendant custom necklaces year on year like have an increased amount of um, searches. So I want to, a lot of my stuff can be transferred to necklaces. So I want to add in a couple more necklace based items um, and I want to do that anyway. So that links up really, really well. Another really exciting thing, I actually next week start a ceramics course and it's like an eight week ceramics course. I want to make mugs so badly like cute little animal mugs um, or ones with cute little drawings on, things like that. Um, so I want to expand my products into mugs or maybe bowls, chopstick rests, things like that, and add some ceramics. So I'll have a really nice range of like really quick, easy products that people can buy, uh, maybe on the cheap side. My polymer clay ones, which are cute, dainty, um, and sort of mid-tier, and then my ceramics, which will be slightly higher priced items, um, but will be super, super nice, hopefully, if I like the ceramics, and if I like making mugs, which I'm sure I will. YouTube, I want to do more videos, um, long form YouTube videos of like studio vlogs with better thumbnails, I know my thumbnails really suck and then short form content as well i really need to step up my game because i do constantly make things i'm making clay and i'm just not filming it and i need to film it and film me packing and updates and things like that for my tiktok for instagram reels and maybe youtube shorts as well i really want to spend a lot of time this year on my social medias making more videos and building up a little bit more of a community um, all my customers at the moment aren't really buying from me because they know me. They're buying because of the custom pet charms, which is for anyone um, that wants them. So it's not really like a, they're a fan of me, they're a fan of their pet, 
which is fine, completely fine. Um, but I like to build that community up a little bit more. So those are my 2024 small business plans. They're small, they're big. I won't be upset if that some of them don't get hit, but I'm writing them all down in a little notion board. So I have my goals set and ready. I've written out um, product ideas for Mother's Day, for Valentine's Day, which I'm gonna get on and do little shop launches. And I wanna start designing for sort of prints or tote bags and sort of expand that a little bit. Oh, I really want to do acrylic keychains. I think they look so, so cool. And they're just so much, they're like really easy for people to pick up and they'll be cheaper than my clay ones as well. So yes, I want to do that. Thank you for listening to me just sit here and talk at you um, for a little while about, about my goals and plans for my business. Let me know in the comments below if you have your own small business. I'd love to check that out. Um, and let me know your goals or plans for 2024. And it doesn't have to be if you have a business or not, uh, just your goals for 2024. I'd love to know them. I'm always looking for new inspiration for goals. So let me know in the comments down below what your plans are. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.